Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel, Our Bean Bunch. I'm Kelly, and technically, Christian is once again in the room. Hi! But playing Fortnite. Yeah. And today we're going to be doing another Kiwi & Co. Hand Crate unboxing and, like, review. <laughs> So this is our second time doing the Panda Crate, and the last one did crazy well. Like crazy well. Honestly, was our, I think our most viewed video. And it didn't do like amazing the first few weeks, and then I randomly was just scrolling through my videos and I was like, what do you mean over 400 views? And I mean, I know for some people that might not seem like a lot, but that is like our most viewed video. I don't know, it's like close to like 500 or something. I'm going to check. Okay, so I just went on there and checked, and like a week ago when I checked, it had like 400 views, and I was like, oh my gosh. It actually has 634 views right now. What? You guys really obviously love Panda Crate, which I don't blame you. I love Panda Crate. So I'm excited to once again get into this box with you guys. <laughs> okay, so this one is for a slightly older age range, which totally makes sense because Amelia is now almost 15 months old. So this one is for the ages 11 to 18 months, and I think the other one was like 6 to 12 months or something like that, or 8 to 12 months, I'm not positive, don't quote me on that. Also, I will leave the price of the Panda Crate up here on the screen. I can never remember, but I think it's like $34 or something like that. So I have no idea what's in this box once again. This is the Feel With Me box. It is, it says, explore emotions to help your little one develop social emotional skills. Sounds good to me. And if you don't know what Kiwi & Co. is, they're a monthly subscription or bi-monthly, depending on what one you get. And it is educational and fun, craft, science experiments, and so on for your children. The Panda Crate is the youngest subscription you can get, which is a bi-monthly, bi so every other month you get one, and it is two months worth of stuff in one. It's a lot more stuff in the Panda Crate versus the other crates they have for the older children that are every month. Um, it is slightly more expensive, obviously, than the every month one, though, I believe. Pretty sure it is. Um, but with the Panda Crate, it's more like toys than actual like crafts because they're younger which totally makes sense if you'd like to know what we got in our october box i will put up here a little thing to let you click on and watch our last panda crate video which was super awesome you guys definitely seem to enjoy that so like i said i have absolutely no idea what's in here i'm hoping that maybe it'll be more of a craft because this is for a slightly older child and as you can see on the box it says all of the different names for the different age ranges panda crate being the youngest which is for newborn to two years old i believe hopefully that focus on that i have no idea okay i am excited but nervous let's try to do this where you guys can see what's in it before i do so i have no idea what's in it I hope you guys like whatever it's on with on here. I can't see. Oh, you can't just see the papers? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try to redo that. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, it seems to be a lot less. I, I don't want to say a lot less stuff. Obviously, it's just like smaller things. So now that you guys had a little peek in here. Wow, I'm excited. I don't even know what to touch first. So let's, I guess, go through our papers first. So in here you have Wonder by, pa by Panda Crate, which in here I believe it just gives you more information 
about each thing and how it's going to help your child develop and learn, which is so exciting. A lot of good information. I loved reading my last subscription little magazine. It had so much awesome and useful information. So I am definitely excited to dive into this later on and to learn. Next thing in here, we have these little cards that talk about specific each objects that are in here and how to go farther than just handing them to your children and saying, do what you want with it. These kind of give you an idea of what the purpose is and how you can use them. And then obviously right here, we just have a big thing that was holding the cards and on the back shows everything that comes in it. So exciting. So the first thing I see in here is more little pamphlet things. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Use mirror play to teach feelings. So these are just seem to be giving you more ideas of fun things to do with your children. Awesome. There's different things like showing you that you can use pastas and stuff. I believe that's what it's showing to, or maybe it's Play-Doh. Use different things to make different expressions on papers how to do crafts, and all these just different things. It seems to be showing, the point of this one seems to be like showing you that you can be sad, happy, angry, silly, like just feeling all your different things. So let's dive on into this. Okay. This is interesting. What is this and how do I use it? <laughs> this is the Emotion Stacker. It is sized for little hands, non-toxic, water-based, and stand fold for easy storage. So, as it's saying, you can like flop these over so it can go super flat or go like this. It kind of reminds me of Connect 4. Is that what that's called? Super reminds me of that and I love the idea that these flip down so you can kind of put it on a shelf like you would with your um, books. So that's actually really cool. I think Amelia's gonna love this. And again, the paper just shows more about it. But with this comes these, which are so adorable. Oh my goodness, Amelia is gonna love these, especially because she loves the babies. They have different babies, and on them they say what emotion the baby's feeling. So this one is happy. We have surprised, excited, frustrated, Playful, silly, angry, curious. I love these. Okay, so it says you can put their for your children to stack in here in any order that they feel that they want to. And then it's fun to have your children try to act out the silly face emotions that are on these. That's actually really cool. Am I missing one or is there just not a weird number of them? That's how it shows on here that you're supposed to have all of them, but I think I'm missing one. I'm not sure. It's a bit strange, but these are super cool and I think Amelia's gonna have a lot of fun with these. And then you just pop them on out. I definitely think she's gonna love this. And you can tell that this is super sturdy, wonderful wood. Super exciting. Yeah, even on this paper, it shows that I should have all of them. I'm missing, oh, I think I'm missing, no, I have, I have angry. I don't know, I imagine I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing sad? Yeah, I don't have sad. Maybe I'll be able to get in contact with them and ask them to send me sad. And last month's crate had something in it that ended up being a choking hazard. It was like this long, thing where you put the different shapes in it so if you do have that definitely get rid of it but I'm sure that if you do have that you've already received an email from them and they refunded you your money but I figured I would just add that in here okay so the next thing is the animated emotion slider two different animations sized for little hands sturdy for repetitive play animates through push and pull which is this oh. Cool. Okay, so this one, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see or not, especially because of the glare of the lights, but it's a little guy doing a dance. It looks like animated, and the other guy's the other thing is a smiley face. That is so cute. I'm not really sure if you guys were able to see that, but I love this. 
And no doubt in my mind, Amelia's gonna think this is the coolest thing ever. Like when you do it slow, it's even like it's better when it's slow. This, I think the smiley face is better when it's fast, but the dancing guy is definitely better when it's slow. He's gonna, she she's gonna love the dancing guy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the next thing is called the emotion spinner. Easy to grasp and spin, mix and match expressions, solid beech wood, non-toxic, water-based paint. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. So you can mix the emotions, different eyes with different mouths. This is adorable. Okay, I love this. But I love wood toys. But you can just put all these different eyes with different faces to make different kind of emotions. I love it. And I think Amelia's gonna love this too. So the next thing in here is the emotions placemat, which is this. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I love this. I'm always the weird mom who feels like I have to smell everything. This is food grade silicone, great for foods of any other or any other messy play, easy to clean. This is so cute. So as you can see on this card, the point is to take your food to make different faces on the panda, which is so cute. Oh my goodness. Panda great, you guys are awesome. So smart with what you make too. Next we have Huckable Hugo. As Christian says it's pronounced. It, it, it has easy to flip flaps, three different emotions, and 100% cotton. And this is this adorable little hippo guy. Oh my goodness, I love his shocked face. Whoa. <laughs> He's so cute. I think Amelia's gonna love him too. Love him. Parent pro tip, teach your little one empathy by hugging Hugo, then encouraging them to give it a try. Build language skills with phrases like, I love you. Clean up is to hand wash only and then air dry. So Amelia is definitely, or definitely has that skill down because she loves her baby dolls. She loves taking them going, oh, and rocking them and making sure they're okay. So the last thing in here is a book, which we love our last book that we got. That was a counting book by them. Um, Poppy is the Panda from Panda Crate. And this one is Poppy's Feelings. I can't wait to put this with our other one. And you can pay a little bit extra and get an extra larger book, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe you can get an extra large book. I know you can get an extra book. I don't know if it's larger or not. But you can get an extra book and upgrade to that. This is so cute. Oh, it shows Poppy and all of his different feelings. Like bored, excited, happy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Scared, joyful with his little friends. And these friends were in the last book too. And loved. Oh my goodness. It says sometimes Poppy has good feelings, sometimes she has not so good feelings. What kind of feelings do you have? Hmm, Poppy's a girl. <laughs> I don't know why I imagine Poppy to be a boy. But I love this book. Poppy's a girl. Whoa. I didn't know that. So once again, Panda Crate did amazing. I am super duper happy with how this turned out. I would definitely update you guys on if they send me my missing piece or not. Or if I somehow find it. We'll update you on Instagram, so follow us. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll update you on Instagram, so follow us at Our Bean Bunch. Also, my personal Instagram is Nero Ann, Christian's is Call of Alo, and Amelia's is Baby Bean Amelia. So yeah, so follow us on Instagram if you want to be updated about that piece because it's kind of sad that we're missing one. But overall, this is amazing. I would put in a clip of Amelia playing with this stuff, but we are way too close to Christmas for me to hand her over all these toys. She is going to have to wait till Christmas to open these. I know, not fun, right? But I will definitely also update you guys on how she likes these toys. And I can't wait for her to open these on Christmas morning. I think she's gonna absolutely love all. And if I just gave in and gave Amelia these early, I'll insert a clip at the end of this of her playing with them. Oh, well, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell if you'd like to be notified every time we post. We post every Monday and Friday, Monday and Wednesday, and occasionally on Fridays when we have the time. And we have not done that in two weeks. I, I'm sure by the time you see this, because I have a bunch of videos recorded, that won't be true when you see this. But 
We definitely took a break off of YouTube, which was not fun. I don't want to take a break. I miss you guys. You guys are awesome. And I know that we're getting super close to 300 subscribers, but when we get 300 subscribers, we're going to be doing a Q&A. So leave your comments, your questions down below in the comments because we'd like to answer them for you. And if I don't have comments on this video because this is a toy related video, feel free to DM me any questions on Instagram and just say, hey, these are for your 300 subscriber Q&A. I love you guys so much. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post. I think I already said that, but I said it again. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.